praise to be God I welcome you all to the new episode of on the origin of heaven let's see about the Archbishop Mark Matthew Cowcutt by acquiring the invisible verse service with love a great personality who is the father of the Archdiocese of Changinasheri and even led a generation in the spirit of holiness yes it is his holiness servant of God Mark Matthew Cowcutt he has been the reliance for many hurted person he is the holy person who extend his sacred hands for wiping the tears of the weeping. An outstanding and exemplary example of a complete devotion is Mar Matthew Kavukatu. Mar Matthew was born on 17th July 1904 as the sixth son of Chumar and Teresa of Kavukatu family from Andinadu near Pala. He was called as Matachin. After the elementary education at Andinadu school, he joined in St. Thomas High School at Pala. Casey Matthew was a brilliant student. There he had many companions who became renowned persons in later years. After the school final in 1923, he joined St. Bakuman's College of Changinasheri for his higher education. After two years, there he pursued his studies in Maharaja's College, Trivandrum, where he graduated in 1927. The following year was spent at home, engaging himself in various parachute activities. During those days, when everyone was trying for a honorary position in government, Mar Matthew listened to God's call and joined St. Thomas Minor Seminary at Kottayam on June 1, 1928. And later, he went to Mangalapura, Aluwa for the major seminary. He was ordained as priest in his own parish on 21st December 1935 by Bishop Kalasheri. He offered his first Mass on 24th of the same month in his own parish. For 15 years, he served the church in various capacities as a pastor, teacher, headmaster, director of ministries, etc. In between, he served in Kanyarapalli for a couple of years as headmaster of St. Dominic's Higher Secondary School and as a professor in SB College and also as assistant parish priest. On 9th November 1950, Father Matthew Kavakatu was raised as bishop for the Diocese of Changanasheri. He served the diocese with the motto called Karitate Sarviri, which means service with love. In 1956, the Diocese of Changinasheri was raised to the Archdiocese and Bishop Kavukatu became the first Archbishop. The following years were important in the history of Kerala Church and the minority communities due to the peculiar political situation. The Archbishop played the key role in organizing the people and leading them in the liberation movement. Pope John XXIII appreciated him for this great work when he visited him in 1960. In the history of India Pastoral Council was first set up in the Archdiocese of Changanasheri by Mar Matthew Kavakatu. During the Silver Jubilee of his priestly ordination in 1960, everyone in the diocese had planned to celebrate it in a grand manner, but he requested his faithful to do not celebrate it, whereas he implemented a housing scheme for the homeless in his diocese as his jubilee gift. By this activity, he became a great inspiration for many other people and even government. Later, government also started implementing the housing schemes for the poor and needy. This scheme is still in access in the Diocese of Changinasheri. The following years are very important in the history of Catholic Church. The Council of Vatican II and the Eucharistic Congress of Bombay are the major events. In both these, Markavakatu played a very prominent role. Though his health was deteriorating because of his cancer, he became very weak and his health condition was unstable. He had to undergo a major surgery in Germany and still he continued his great work in the diocese, especially the work for the poor and the suffering. In his words, he did not want any Lazar to be crying in the Portugal. Later, he passed away in the early hours of 9th October 1969. His mortal is buried in the Diocese of Changinasheri Metropolitan Church. Even today, many faithful visit his tomb and make their prayers to His Holiness. Mar Matthew Kavukatu, who was relieved to the poor and sick during his lifetime, is still their lifeline and help from heaven. His cause of canonization also began in 1991. The diocesan process of naming Bishop Matthew Kavukatu as a saint has been completed and also its document have been submitted to Rome.
Also a museum has been set up at the Cathedral of Changinasheri to keep the memory of Bishop alive. It is arranged in such a way as to know and understand His Holiness intimately and spiritually. May we also pray that a guardian father, the servant of God, Mar Matthew Kavukatu, will soon be called as a saint. Thank you.